let's discuss the next topic in the syllabus which is called sets so the topic for the session is sets what is a set we have discussed about different sets the word set has been most commonly used in mathematics in many of the topics but what is a set before we start this topic let's take some real life examples when i just write say for example in the previous case we have taken the natural numbers as 1 2 3 4 5 and so on and so forth i said n is set of natural numbers so what is the word set when i have considered the case of natural numbers is what derives the topic of the session so a set is the collection of numbers as i can clearly see here with n the set of natural numbers is the collection of the numbers 1 2 3 4 5 so on and so forth till infinity so i understand that if i collect some objects and put that in this symbol form then the flower brackets which we call them as flower brackets then that forms a set but there is a more mathematical meaningful definition for a set when we enter more further into understanding a set so let's see what are the two restrictions which limit the defining of a set so firstly when i go with the definition my first limitation is that all the elements or objects considered must be related to each other so they must be related to each other say for example I take a geometric box when I take the mathematical geometry box and I include a compass, a protractor, a, a ruler, an eraser. That's it. So these are the things which form a well-defined collection because all the elements are related to each other when I just have a geometric box. Even a pencil can be inside the geometry box. But when I include a watch inside the geometry box, then I don't say that, that the, the watch is related to the geometry box is how I understand the first limitation. For example, when I take the geometry box, instrumental box, then I have a pen, a pencil, an eraser, a compass, ruler, protractor, they are all part of the geometrical instrument box which we use in construction of geometrical figures. So these are related to each other. So when they are written in set form, definitely form a well-defined collection of objects. Therefore, the first property which defines that the elements or objects which are considered must be related are very much related here. But say for example, if I include A wristwatch into this may not form a well-defined collection of objects because a wristwatch inside the geometry box may not be a good idea because that they are very different and not related to each other. If we understand in the sense of geometrical instruments, a wristwatch is nowhere related to the geometrical instruments. Hence, inclusion of wristwatch inside the set of all these objects may not form a set. But excluding, excluding this, these objects or elements might form a set. So this makes us clear understanding on the objects considered must be related to each other. Secondly, when I pick the objects, I should be able to pick the objects inside the set. The objects or elements inside the set or elements should be able to be picked to be 
picked up. So when I say the objects or elements should be able to be picked up, then this forms a very complex situation because when I take the example of stars in the sky may not form a set because it is very difficult to pick the different stars in the sky. There are infinitely many stars. So picking up of stars in the sky may not be a set based on the second limitation of which states that the objects or elements should be able to be picked up. For example, stars in the sky may not form a set. So this doesn't form a set. But when I pick vowels from English alphabets, the vowels definitely can be picked from the 26 letters of the English alphabets starting from A and ending with Z. But when I take the example of vowels of English alphabets can easily be picked. Therefore, the vowels form a set, the stars in the sky do not form a set. The instruments in the geometry box form a set, but when a wristwatch is included in the geometry box, does not form a set, supported with the limitation 1 and the limitation 2. So vowels of English alphabets, which are clearly A, E, I, O, U, is something which we already know in the English class. The vowels are A, E, I, O, U, forms a set of vowels of English alphabets, the 26 letters starting from A to Z. So with this clear picture, it makes me understand that a set is a well-defined collection of objects. So when I go with the definition, it says that a well-defined collection of objects is called a set. So here the two examples make us understand on what is a set and what is not a set.